Do you believe in extraterrestrial intelligence? What about the idea that not only do they exist, but that they are in contact with the Earth currently? All of the evidence I've seen has pointed to this being true, and if you have seen some of the information out there, I'm sure this idea doesn't come as being far-fetched to you. This article will expose the undercover story, and introduce you to the species you can make direct contact with right now. Humans have already discovered 2,000 exoplanets in our universe, with over 500 discovered this year alone. These planets are potentially suitable for life and have the right conditions to support it, including perhaps oxygen, carbon, and water. Our continued study of space has only led us to realize that it is very likely that the universe is absolutely teeming with life, especially when you take into account that there are an estimated 100 billion galaxies in our universe. Some people may think it's impossible that aliens would be able to exist, and doubly impossible that they would be able to travel light years to visit us. But think about this. Our Earth is only 4 billion years old in a universe that is 14 billion years old. What could a species learn, create, and do that has a 2 or 3 billion year head start on us? Proven Contact Humans who act as spiritual channels have been pushing up against mainstream consensus for years, sharing that they have directly had contact with extraterrestrials. Abductees, military personnel, whistleblowers, even reputable scientists have been thoroughly tested by a vast range of neurologists, hypnotists, psychologists, etc., proving undisputedly that these people have had contact with ETs, some of which is reported to be both positive and negative. If this is coming as news to you, here is the former Minister of National Defense of Canada Paul Hillier giving full disclosure within Parliament about the UFO cover-up stories and ET contacts we have made. He explains in front of a room of government officials that there are over 80 species of aliens we are aware of, and four of them in particular that we have made direct contact with on Earth. It is believed that all of the ones who have contacted us so far are benevolent and want to help us. Some of these beings may appear odd or paranormal in nature to us, and that from what I understand it's because it is hard for us to fully understand their consciousness intelligence and the way they interface with reality. Not to mention, that their existence alone shifts our understanding of the universe and our place within it so dramatically that it is very natural for us to be inclined to reject that which is so unfamiliar and challenging to us. I also know this is a highly controversial conversation to be starting, but the world needs to know this information. I do believe the time has to begin to consciously interact with these beings to create a new relationship with them and open the bridge of communication. I have experienced this firsthand myself, and many others have as well. I truly believe it's part of our future destiny as a species, and is an organic part of maturing into being an intelligent, loving and compassionate planet. So without further ado, here are the five main ETs that are in contact with Earth. Please keep in mind this information is not being made up. This is coming from the high levels of government and military personnel, scientists, and first-hand contacts. 1. The Assassini The Assassini are technically our reptilian, grey-human hybrid relatives. Back in the day, a species called the greys came to Earth. According to reports, they had genetically mutated themselves to the point of not being able to reproduce anymore. They could only survive through cloning. We agreed to share our genetics with them so that we could alter their course of history and future. Most abduction experiences had to do with this genetic course correction, and was very confusing for humans. We on some level agreed to this relationship. Since then an entirely new breed of beings was created, which were already far more advanced than we, and were given a prepared planet for them to inhabit that has allowed them to advance, evolve and grow rapidly without ever being as primitive as our own journey on Earth. They are in a way our direct relatives, and are here to support us during our evolutionary path. They assist us in staying the course of the most preferred reality we would like to create, desirably one of peace and harmony. The Assassini are indeed a benevolent and loving race. 
they have a close relationship to their higher selves, are extremely playful, and love to reflect back our hunger to understand ourselves better. The Essasinis are our contact ambassadors, and you may be most familiar with the Essasini species from Bashar, channeled by Dara Lanka. 2. The Yale, aka the Shilinaya. The Yale are a gorgeous and graceful species of hybrid beings. They are said to radiate very pure solar golden energy, and are one of the closest interstellar relatives we have. They will be the first race to make open contact with us as a species in the upcoming future. They are about our height, well framed and seem to possess the appearance of an angelic anime character, many of which look highly multicultural. They are remarkably beautiful, gentle, intelligent, heart-centered and considerate. They have a very healthy relationship with their technology, and are here to help us develop and evolve. They too came from primitive times, and are far more advanced than us currently. It is said that many of our social networking platforms were given to the Earth with the help of their stream of consciousness. 3. Syrian Hybrids These hypersapiens are highly evolved, and according to the records have had a lot of contact with us since the beginning. They are said to be our father race, who came together to help create humans genetically. Many ancient prophecies and spiritual texts say extraterrestrials were involved in the creation of human beings. The serious beings exist about 300 to 500 years into the future and are tens of thousands of years more advanced and evolved than our own species. They specialize in technology, architecture, sustainable energy and sacred geometry. Also, the being depicted in the movie Avatar are said to be very similar in appearance to Syrians. They are about our height, though a bit taller overall, slender and have really defined muscles. They have a warm bluish tone to their skin, warm oval eyes, long fingers with precision dexterity. 4. The Pleiadians The Pleiadian hypersapiens are tall, round-faced, wide-eyed with soft yet detailed features. They are beautiful beings who are almost exclusively described as having blonder hair, if they do have hair, and blue eyes. It's been said that many of us spent time on the Pleiades training and learning about life before coming to Earth, and many have said that's where we are headed after Earth. Their bodies function like finely tuned delicate instruments which can pick up psychic signals streamed across the universe. In this way if you work on psychically connecting with the Pleiadians, they can often be one of the most directly responsive and seemingly close by ETs we are in contact with. The Pleiadians also have a diplomatic-like quality, as they are very involved with the Interstellar Alliance, supporting the development of seed races on other planets and ensuring their progress of evolution for all. The Pleiadians are extremely gentle and loving and are an easy race to begin psychically contacting. They are readily available and always quick to respond and interact. 5. Arcturians The most ancient race of our entire Milky Way galaxy, the Arcturian Hypersipians are a highly evolved race of alien beings. They are profoundly aware, innovative and experienced. It has been said that it was the Arcturian system that was first seeded in this galaxy, which initiated a series of descending races further into the galaxy, including our own inhabitation. The Arcturians come in many forms, as their highly advanced consciousness has allowed them pass through singularity, and completely coexist in a powerfully advanced high vibrational reality. The primary race is one of approximately 4 to 5 feet in height blue skin and large brains. Their bodies are, however surprisingly ample and have a fit shape about them. The Arcturians are accelerating and becoming less physical. The Arcturians are witty, psychic beyond the proximity of our comprehension and ever overseeing and supporting our experience of life. They are some of our deepest ancestors within the stars. For more information on human-initiated ET contacts, government cover-ups, alien abductees, and whistleblower testimonies, I highly recommend you watch the serious documentary. It contains decades worth of full-time research, and is the best integration of free energy devices, alien races, and spirituality. How to Contact These Beings 
I recommend you create a time to meditate each day at the exact same time. Cleanse your space, get comfortable and take a few deep breaths. Create an invocation to welcome them into your space. And then just meditate. Go quiet and listen. Perhaps ask a question and see what kind of responses you get. As Max Planck once said, the number of minds in the universe is one. These beings have thousands and millions of years of evolution on us, so things like telepathy, ESP, and physics transmission are as easy for them as sending a radio signal is for us. The ancients knew this. ET visitations have been recorded for thousands of years, and all ancient cultures talk about the gods that would come down from the sky with a bright light and given them knowledge, tools, technology and culture. These beings are usually depicted having shiny skin or wearing some kind of space gear, and have generally have large heads and wide large eyes. Chariots of the Gods is a wonderful read summarizing the vast amount of evidence that ancient man was visited in the past by extraterrestrial beings and they they created art, cave paintings, and sculptures of these distant visitors to describe the experiences they had of them. These are the five main races in contact with Earth. Again, I would like to stress that this is not New Age mumbo-jumbo. This information comes from the highest levels of the military-industrial complex, government, and first-hand contacts. There are many more in contact with us right now, and many more who desire to contact us. Maybe they are waiting for us to open our minds and our hearts, let go of our greed and pride, grow up a bit and make more spiritual progress before they make their presence known to the whole world. If you ever hit any blocks or get stuck, it's likely you are dealing with resistance. Resistance can easily block us from tuning in or focusing our intentions. It's important you transform your relationship with resistance if you are looking to better your life. Here is a groundbreaking ebook I created for you to help. Over 10,000 people have read it and and loved the amazing insights and benefits it gave them for their lives. I know you will too.